In this video, we're going to be adding support for service providers. Uh, basically, what they do is, well, provide services. So, for example, say we have a routing service, uh, an events service, a database service. Uh, for all of those three components, we're going to have a designated provider. Now, that might not make much sense right now, but hopefully that will change uh, as we get towards the end of this video. So the first thing that we have to do is go to our framework uh, code. We're going to go to application and we can get rid of this from last lesson actually. Uh, and we need to add a new method down here. We're going to call this public function register provider. And that's going to take uh, a provider, which will be an object. Uh, and all we're going to do here is call a method on the provider and add the provider to a an array which we're going to add now so protected loaded providers equals array and that's all we have to do uh, for that but before we actually get started with that we're going to go to source support and we're going to create a new file here we're going to call this um, service provider interface.php we're going to namespace this framework support and we're going to say class sorry not class interface service provider interface and this is going to have one method public function register and it's going to take one argument which will be the application class and we need to add a use statement for that so use framework core application okay so back in our application class we're just going to type in this to service provider interface and we're going to add a use statement for that so use framework support service provider interface and what we're going to do here is first check that the provider hasn't already been loaded and if it hasn't we're going to register well, we're going to call the register method in the provider. So first let's get the name of the provider. So we're going to use the get class function. And then we're going to say if this, if not, this provider has been loaded name, and we'll create that quickly. In fact, instead of passing in the name, we'll just pass in the provider. So let's get rid of that public function provider has been loaded and that can probably be protected service provider interface provider and all we're going to do is return array key exists get class provider this loaded providers okay so if the provider hasn't been loaded we're going to say provider register and we need to pass in the app instance. If we go back into this interface, you can see that we're taking an application instance. So all we're doing is, well, that should be this. All we're doing is passing in uh, the current instance. And then we're going to add the name of the provider to the loaded providers array. So this loaded providers equals get class provider. And then we'll just return this. Now we're not going to get to see this in action just yet simply because we don't have any providers to uh, test it on. But later down the line you'll see how useful this is going to be.